What's one item that most of us probably have laying around the house or our craft rooms? Mason jars. They are good for so many things. I have 50 ideas for you today. I'm gonna show you some really cool mason jar gadgets, some crafts, and even some hacks. I'm sure you're gonna be running around your house trying to find those mason jars after watching this video. Now let's go ahead and dive right into all of these 50 ideas. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon, the Daily DIYer. Welcome if you are new and welcome back to my devoted DIYers. I wanna give you some tips and tricks, especially if you don't just necessarily have some mason jars hanging around your home. Dollar Tree has my absolute favorite mason jars. They are solid, they don't have raised surfaces, they are great for crafting and decor. And you can also check out their huge variety of other jars with lids that they have that would also work for a lot of the projects and ideas I'm gonna share with you today. A great place to get some bargains on mason jars is your local thrift store. I found this quart size one for only 50 cents at mine. These retail for about $3 at Walmart, so a good deal here. Purchasing mason jars in bulk is probably going to be your best bargain of all, unless you can find a ton at the thrift store. If not, head to your local tractor supply store. That's where I usually get a lot of mine because they have great prices. They also have lots of varieties. And honestly, the very best time to buy mason jars is during canning season. They have tons on hand, and you're also going to get the best deal. As you can see here, $9.49 for a dozen mason jars, making them less than a dollar each. We're going to take some ordinary Dollar Tree mason jars. We're going to turn them from ordinary to gorgeous and beautiful with a much more high-end look with the help of these wood lids that I found on Amazon. I will make sure to link them down below for you. They are the perfect addition to a kitchen to make it look a little bit more fancy. I'm just adding some of my baking and cooking supplies and even dry goods works with this into my Dollar Tree mason jars and adding the wood lid on top so it looks much nicer. One more way to elevate them is to also add a label onto the front of your mason jars. I had these labels left over from we, when we renovated our kitchen. I'll also link them down below because they're just from Amazon and just sticking those right on front of the jars and you can see we turn a regular ordinary Dollar Tree mason jar into one that looks much more high-end, classy, and chic. These look so nice out on display so you can put them on your open shelving or on your countertops to make your kitchen look nice and it's easier to grab those ingredients when you need them. This awesome gadget is going to save you a ton of money. It's called a mason jar vacuum sealer and it comes with a USB charger so there's no batteries needed. You just recharge it as needed and it's a great way to vacuum seal any of your foods in mason jars to elongate the life and the shelf life of your food. The cool thing is, is it comes with adapters for both regular and wide mouth mason jars. And it also comes with this little pop top for easily access into your cans as you use them. To use this, you just put your lid right on top of your mason jar, find the right adapter that fits on top, and then you will just sit your vacuum sealer right on top of that. There's a button at the top that you push and you put, let it kind of run its course for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then you'll just press the button on top, it'll turn off the vacuum sealer, pop that off, and also the plastic lid. And you'll see that we now have a great vacuum seal on our jar. Our top is not gonna pop open at all. You'll put the ring on and set it aside until you're ready to get into your jar again. Use that little tool that was included with this kit to pop the lid off, and you have fresh food just like the first time you opened it. Now I'm going to be using my quart sized mason jar for this next idea paired with a Dollar Tree frog. They're called decorative lids if you get them at Dollar Tree. They also come in a pack of two, which is a great price. And we're going to use it for a little topper on our jar to use it as a vase. I really like using these because it makes you look like you're a professional floral designer when you're really not. It just really helps to keep all of the flowers in place, add some water to your jar. I like to separate all my flowers before I start sticking them in there. And my best advice for creating your own bouquet is to think about balance. You want red on both sides, yellow on both sides, and then kind of tuck it down in the front so you don't see a bunch of stems, and then add your fillers last, and then you end up with a beautiful bouquet, and that little frog that went on top is what really holds everything in place and makes everything look really nice. 
I have some more ideas using one of those frogs later on in this video, so stay tuned to that. But first, I absolutely love having fresh flowers in our home and in the planters on our front porch. And as the weather is starting to warm up and the flowers start to bloom, it's also the perfect time to take a fresh new look at your financial planning. If you've been meaning to get life insurance but have been putting it off, now is the time. With Fabric by Gerber Life, it's quick and easy to protect your family's future so you can get back to enjoying life. Fabric by Gerber Life was designed by parents for parents to help you get high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. I have my children on Gerber Life and now there's Fabric by Gerber Life for us, the parents. Fabric was designed to give parents like you affordable term life insurance, access to college savings funds, plus wills and more, all in an easy online experience. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply in only 10 minutes by going to meetfabric.com slash daily DIY. That's meetfabric.com slash daily DIY. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash daily DIY. I will also have a link down in the description box below that you can click and head on over and apply, like I said, in just 10 minutes. It is super easy. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee and you can also cancel at any time. So again, check that link that I'll have down in the description box below. And thank you so much to Fabric by Gerber Life for sponsoring today's video. Now I have tons more mason jar ideas for you. So let's dive back in. A couple things you're gonna need to grab from the Dollar Tree for this next project is of course a mason jar, some white school glue, and you need just one drop of food coloring and whatever color is your favorite. We're gonna make a beautiful kind of frosted sea glass type vase. You just pour out a little bit of that white glue into a container, add one drop of that food coloring and mix it up with a popsicle stick until it's all incorporated. Then you're gonna take a paintbrush and simply paint that glue right onto your vase. So when school glue dries, it dries kind of hazy. And when you add a little bit of that coloring into it, you're going to get a tinted version of that sort of frosted look. So make sure you get the entire surface of the vase. You don't have to do the very bottom, but definitely get the rings that go around the top rim. And you only need to do one coat of this. Make sure it sits overnight so it dries all the way. And once you wake up the next day, this is the gorgeous look that you're gonna get. I've spent a lot of money on spray paint that gives you the same effect. And you absolutely don't have to do it whenever you go this route. It's super easy. Of course, you need to let it sit overnight, but it does give this beautiful kind of fancy look. If you wanna use it for a candle holder, I did have like a little miniature jar candle that I put in there. I'm not sure I would put like a candle directly up against the glue because it likely will bubble and you don't want there to be a fire hazard there. So just be careful how you utilize it. And if you put a candle in there, maybe an LED battery powered candle would honestly be the safer route to go. But I also found this awesome glue at Dollar Tree. It is color changing glue. And I thought this would be a fun experiment to give a try the same exact process. We are just painting that glue onto our mason jar. The difference here is you do not have to add any food coloring to this as it already has a coloring to it. I did one coat, let it dry, and it was a little bit light. So I came back and I did do a second coat, let that dry, and this is the result. So it's a little bit darker, but still has that really pretty hazy look to it. I thought this would be a fun project to do with kiddos and adding a bank style lid to it also kind of ups it up a notch too. And then I wanted to show you how the co color changing actually works. You don't even have to take it outside. It just needs to hit some sun rays. You can see it went from blue to purple instantly. And then you go back from the sun rays to the shadows and it will slowly turn back to blue. How fun is that? As I said, this would be so fun to do with kiddos, super easy for them to do. You just need a little bit of patience 
in allowing that glue to dry. Now let's go back to our own childhood here. I always remember my mom making sun tea. So I found a cool gadget and this is kind of the perfect little recipe to also throw in here. This is a half gallon size mason jar I got from Walmart. It was only $5. I'm filling it up with some filtered water and I added four tea bags to mine. Now, of course, you can adjust this to your own recipe, but it literally is that easy. You just fill it up with water, add some tea bags into your jar, put the lid and ring back on it and set it outside in the sunshine for it to brew. This is the porch to my she shed and it's springtime and I wash my porch off and this little lovey right here, our puppy honey, she had other ideas. She thought she was gonna trample all over my clean porch. Um, so I just thought she was cute. I left her in it in the muddy porch and show just to show you the uh, mason jar. Um, sitting on my porch outside to brew. This was after about two and a half hours. I brought it inside and you can see here how nicely the tea has turned or water I should say has turned to tea now. You just take a spoon, kind of smush out any of the flavoring from the tea bags, throw them out. And then this is the cool gadget I found on Amazon. It's a little plastic pour spout that twists right onto a regular mouth style uh, mason jar and it turns a mason jar into a pitcher, which is super cool. Our family is a big time tea drinking family, except we do sweet tea. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments below, team sweet tea or team iced tea. I also found these awesome mason jars on Amazon as well. They are stacking mason jars and I'll show you that here in just a second. But the cool thing is, is you can use mason jars as cups too, and I do all the time. I love mason jars. However, they don't fit in our cabinet very well. They don't stack at all until I found these, like I said, on Amazon, and they also come with the lids and the rings. So you don't necessarily have to use them for cups if you don't want to, but I love them because it just is a space saver in your cabinet and you can buy more of them than just you know a couple that'll fit. You can stack these up and you'll get so much more room in your cabinet space. So I'm gonna show you inside the cabinet just how much of a space saver these are. Instead of stacking them next to each other, you can obviously stack them on top of each other. And I love them so much. I am definitely gonna be ordering a second set. I only have four. We definitely could use four more. And then I also want to show you the lids that just pop right on there and then have awesome straws included too. So I'll link them down in the description box below as well. I love mason jars as cups keeps you from having to use plastic for everything. And then this is not a DIY I did, but these are my absolute favorite candles. So I thought I would throw this idea in here. These are Antique Candle Co. candles and they're all made in mason jars, different size mason jars. So I'll link them down in the description box below as well. So you can just order them, but save your mason jars because you can also DIY your own in mason jars as well. These are awesome too. They are koozies for pint size mason jars. So if you use regular mason jars and you don't have the stackable kinds yet, if you don't wanna do the stackable kinds, you can do your regular mason jars and put these koozies on them. They are perfect for keeping things hot and cold. I specifically love them for my iced coffee because it makes it last and stay colder longer. But I also love these because they also are great for putting down on surfaces so it keeps them from getting scratched from the jars. And then you just wouldn't believe how many different attachments you can find for mason jars. This was an awesome and affordable set that came with three different options, but double the amount. So you get two of each one. This is a cool one with a lid with a shaker style and lid to it. So you can put your drinks or whatever in there, shake it up and pour it out. Uh, this one has a screen in it, which would be great for using with things like powdered sugar or seasoning for steaks and that kind of thing. If you want to make your own, you can mix it up in there and then shake it on. This last one is a pour spout. So this is great for things like oils or for salad dressings that you make at home. It comes in the set of two here with the spout and then the lid has a silicone ring in it to keep everything sealed. And you just twist it right onto the top, but it makes it easy to clean them because it all comes apart. So like I said, this is a set of three different attachments, but you get doubles of each and I'll link this down below because I love these two. 
Those are some pretty cool gadgets and accessories, right? I didn't even know some of them existed until I started doing some research, and I will make sure to put a link to all of those down in the description box below to make it easy for you to find so you don't have to go hunting them down like I did. I also have some fun crafts for you when it comes to mason jars, so let's dive into those ideas. So as I said, Dollar Tree has my favorite mason jars because they are smooth, there's no raised texture on them, and that's what we need for this next project. But if you have regular mason jars, it works on that too. It's just gonna take a little bit more work. And all you need for this project are Sharpies. And you also need your creativity because sky is the limit when it comes to designing this. You're basically gonna make a stained glass style mason jar by drawing on the vase or the glass with those markers. So like I said, create your own design. I did little boxes on mine in a rainbow sh pattern and shape. And this is after I had my whole thing colored in, looking pretty, looking bright and colorful. And this would be so good in so many different areas in your home. Mine specifically, I'm now using for my Sharpies. Go figure, right? Perfect in a craft room, perfect in a office, perfect in a kid's kind of crafting area. And here's another idea. Dollar Tree also carries these awesome hanging lids. So it's a lid that you just screw right on. It's got a chain attached to it already. You could add flowers to this, a candle to this, and look how beautiful this is when you hold it up to the light. So it might be perfect in a kitchen window or an office window where you need a little bit of color. Now my favorite crafting things always include Mod Podge. So we're gonna Mod Podge some dried flowers onto a mason jar to really give it a gorgeous, classy look. To do that, just take some of your Mod Podge, you can even find this at Dollar Tree in smaller bottles, and you're just gonna take a foam brush, wipe it onto the surface of your mason jar, take a dried flower, which I think you can find in the Dollar Tree Plus section now, so check that if you have those in your stores and then just add some more Mod Podge on top of your flower. That is gonna seal it in so it stays on the glass. Depending on how much Mod Podge you use, depends on how long it's gonna take to dry. I would say a good hour or so. And this one, I actually added some Dollar Tree white rocks into the bottom and also a Dollar Tree votive candle in there. And look how classy and beautiful this turned out. Simple additions can really change the look and feel. You can also use mason jars for fancy cloches. This one, we're gonna elevate the look with some rub and buff. The lids on these jars from Dollar Tree do come with a brilliant gold, which is really pretty, but I want mine to look more like an antique brass. So I'm taking some rub and buff and you literally just rub it right onto your metal surface. Let it dry, it doesn't take very long to dry at all. Here is a look at the difference. Right side is with the rub and buff, left side is without. We're gonna add some to the lid of our mason jar, let those sit and dry. And then we're going to add the decorative pieces into our mason jar. Highly recommend using a clear one from Dollar Tree since you can see all the way through it. I added some Dollar Tree moss and my little bunny is from the Target dollar spot. Just push those right down in there, put the lid and the ring back on. I didn't glue anything in so that way I could come back and always change it out in the future if I wanted to, to change it out with seasons. And you can even add a Dollar Tree candlestick holder underneath there too. I have this paired with some thrift store finds, including the cloche and the books on the left, and then the right are candle holders from Dollar Tree that I also added some rub and buff to to give this all a cohesive look. All right, so where are my OGs at? The ones that remember way back when, whenever this channel did a lot of woodworking projects. I would love to bring some of this back, so let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in me including some more wood projects here for upcoming videos. I would love to know. I miss it, and this is a great example of why I miss it. This project is a Magnolia Market knockoff that saved me gosh, I want to say $60 or more um, because I made it myself. And you, these are so easy. These are beginner style projects. And this one's perfect too because it holds mason jars. So we're going to make a box basically. And we're going to use the same one by six board for the entire thing. So the bottom I cut to 16 inches long. We're going to cut two end pieces to five and a half inches square for both of those. And you can see here that we have the bottom. Now we have the 
two ends and then we need to make the front and the back we want this one to be a little bit longer you could square them up if you wanted to but the magnolia market box actually had a little bit more flavor and flair to it with the extended length so that i cut down to 15 and or i'm sorry 19 and a half inches long and you can see this is how it's all going to look using some of those quart size jars for the inside then I sanded everything with a circular sander and layered up some gray wood stain with some dark walnut on top to give it some depth. Then this also had a handle. So I'm using some plastic lattice molding. You can see here the size and we're going to cut that down to 14 and a half inches long using some tin snips. It cuts like butter right through it. I'll link those down below too. You can find those at Walmart for like five bucks. A great thing to have on hand to cut thin wood and plastic like popsicle sticks and stir sticks and that kind of thing. Now the handle on the Magnolia one had a black metal uh, look to it or probably was black metal. And we're gonna get that same look using some oil rubbed bronze spray paint, flipping it over, doing both sides and letting that dry. Now we can go ahead and build our box once our stain has had time to cure. We're gonna use some one and a quarter inch brad nails combined with some wood glue and just tacking that all together, adding the end pieces on first and then adding the sides, the front and the back on using some wood glue on there and then making sure we lay this flat on our work surface and also making sure the sides are evenly spaced. All right, now we can move on to our handle here. So we're gonna measure up one inch. We're gonna measure up a couple inches from there. We're gonna add two pilot holes into the handles, flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. That's gonna give us a space now to be able to attach it onto the ends of our wood box. I do recommend using some black wood screws here or some drywall screws so that way they will kind of blend in with the black of our handles. So you just screw those into each side and now we have a permanent handle attached to our wood box. So I did do this project several years ago and at the time they did have this on Magnolia's website for $70. However, at the time I was able to buy wood and supplies to create my own for less than $10 plus the cost of the mason jars. But how beautiful and gorgeous is this and a huge savings to create it your own. And then you also have the ability to make it longer if you wanted, especially if you're going to put it down along the center of a long dining table or on a console table. And I love being able to custom build things to really match my own decor and my own uh, wherever I want to put it sizing. This is another oldie but goodie that I wanted to bring back around with springtime quickly approaching. It's how to turn a mason jar into a tiki torch. So you're going to need the fuel for a tiki torch. Also a mason jar. This is a pint sized Make sure you have a wide mouth lid and then you'll need this is a copper coupling reducer size 3 eighths inch by 1 quarter inch and you'll also need a fiberglass wick. Now we need to drill a hole in the top of our mason jar lid. We're going to do that with a half inch size drill bit. Just make sure you put down a piece of scrap wood to cover up your work surface and then drill through the metal of the lid. And you are gonna have some pieces that are a little bit pokey, so make sure to trim those off. Make sure you're wearing gloves too so you don't get cut by the metal of the lid. Then you can insert your copper coupling here. We're gonna put the smaller side down and the larger side is gonna be facing up. Then you can go ahead and insert your Tiki Torch wick into the coupling. 
Since we're using a smaller pint sized mason jar for this, most of the wicks are probably gonna be a little bit too long. So you are gonna have to do some adjusting. Just put your lid on your jar, push your wick all the way to the bottom, and then all the excess will be sticking out. You wanna cut your wick down to about a quarter of an inch up from your coupling. You don't want too much here as your flame will just be way too big and a little bit out of control if you make it too long. Then you can go ahead and add your tiki torch fuel into the mason jar, put it all together, light your wick, and you have an instant tabletop tiki jar that is just great for keeping the bugs away and perfect for nighttime to add a little bit of light and ambience to your space. It's also really fun to turn mason jars into hanging lights. And this is a light kit that I got from Ikea, but if you don't have an Ikea, you can also find these at your local hardware store and also try to find some and link that in the description box below for you from Amazon. I'm sure they have them too. You just wanna make sure your light kit has this plastic ring that twists off. That's gonna hold our mason jar on in the end. We wanna take that ring off and we're gonna trace the smaller end of the ring onto the top of our mason jar just with a Sharpie marker. It doesn't have to look pretty, obviously. You just want basically the about the right size. Then we're gonna take a large nail and a hammer and we're gonna go all the way around where we marked uh, with our Sharpie marker. And that is going to indent a circle all the way around. And then you're gonna take some pliers and cut that out. Now I did a combination of regular pliers and some needle nose pliers just to work my way around. And once you get back to the beginning again, you will have a hole the size you need in the lid of your mason jar. And as you can see, we have a lot of sharp edges going on here. So make sure you are wearing protective gloves on your hands. And then we're going to take a hammer and we're going to hammer down any of those sharp points that are sticking up or down. And that'll just kind of level it all out. Now we can put our light together. We're going to take the lid or the ring from our mason jar and we're going to put that onto our light kit first. Then you'll take your metal lid that we cut the hole out of and put that onto the threaded end of our light and then twist the plastic ring back onto your light kit. Then once we have that all put together, you can see now the lid actually is stationary and the ring will slide right over it and it all will hang nicely for us. You just wanna use an LED or a CFL light bulb and then insert that into your jar. You wanna make sure you use a light bulb that is not gonna emanate a lot of heat because obviously it's gonna be contained down into that jar. Then once you get the lid put on, obviously I wanted to show you what this looks like once it lights up. So here's what it looks like during the daytime. And then obviously at nighttime, much more bright, much more brilliant and beautiful. So here is it lit up during the day. And again, here it is at nighttime with the lights off. These do make really, really pretty accent lights, whether it's in a bedroom or in a kitchen as an accent light. Just really beautiful and so easy since they just plug in and turn on and off. Mason jars also make great gifts. And I did a video with 25 ideas back over on my other channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage. If you're not subscribed, go over there so you're ready for Christmas in July when it relaunches again. But I thought I would condense it down and show you my favorite 10 gifts in a jar that you could use all year long. Who doesn't love food? And luckily Dollar Tree has all the ingredients we're gonna need for these next several ideas. First up are pancakes. We're gonna grab some pancake mix from Dollar Tree. We're gonna shake about a cup into our mason jar. The cool thing about mason jars is they also have the measurements on the side, so it makes it even easier. Measure that out, put your lid and ring on top. Obviously, we are definitely washing our mason jars and lids before we do this and gift them. Once they're dry, you can add your ingredients. And an easy way to dress them up is to add a little bit of fabric onto the top, add a rubber band, around it and then add some ribbon or some twine on there. Obviously this is kind of Christmassy coming from my Christmas channel so keep this in mind for Christmas time but this would be great for Father's Day, Mother's Day, a birthday uh, just because. The only thing you do want to make sure to do here though is to also write out the instructions so that the recipient knows how to actually make what they're receiving in the jar. So a quick little tag with the ingredients on there or the directions on there tied on makes for a quick and easy gift idea.
You can also use the same idea with some cookie mix and Dollar Tree has lots of Betty Crocker options. We're gonna shake our chocolate chip mix into our mason jar for this one. And then I have a neat idea of how to include the directions for this one instead of writing out your own tag. So once you get the ingredients in the jar, put your lid on and then cut out the directions that are on the back of the packaging. That way they have exactly what else needs to be added and also the exact instructions of how to make the cookies. We're gonna lay that on and then put the ring on top of the lid and on top of the ingredients so that way they are all together and they're not gonna get lost. Then you can decorate up your lid. I'm just adding a little bit of ribbon onto mine with some hot glue. It's a quick and easy way to dress a jar up, tie a knot, tie a bow. And then since these are cookies, it's also fun to add a little cookie cutter on there too, as an extra special little gift with your cookie mix. Dollar Tree also has muffins and brownies. You can use the same exact idea for. I'm going ahead and doing the brownies for this one. Same thing, put your ingredients in the jar, twist the directions onto the lid so we have that all together, tie it up with a bow, add a little cookie cutter, which you can also do with brownies. Quick and easy gift ideas. Now, as I said earlier, you can use a quart sized mason jar for this or grab a larger size jar from Dollar Tree and you'll get the same kind of idea and effect, just saving you a little bit more money since quart sized jars are about $4 and these are only $1.25 from Dollar Tree. I also picked up these chalkboard little labels from Dollar Tree, wrote the word kitchen on the front. You can write whatever you'd like on the front of yours. And we're gonna cover up the hole on these chalkboard board labels with some ribbon. Just cut down some ribbon, tied a knot, hot glued that over the hole. And then we're going to hot glue that label onto the front of our jar. And this makes for the perfect little container for wood spoons and kitchen utensils. You can actually find these wood spoon sets at Dollar Tree as well. So a very inexpensive gift idea or kitchen decor piece. This idea is great for the person that loves tea. I'm one of those people, I have hot tea every morning. We're gonna grab one of those from Dollar Tree and also Dollar Tree carries these awesome mason jar mugs. They have little handles on the side. Love those at a great price. So we're gonna make a nice little tea gift set. We're gonna open up the box. These are all individually wrapped, so no worries there. Grab a bunch, kind of tuck them down into the mason jar mug. And then to decorate it up a little bit, I have some cinnamon sticks that are from Dollar Tree. We're gonna tie one on with the help of some twine here, just wrapping it around the jar lid and then tying a cinnamon stick on there. You don't have to do the cinnamon stick if you don't want to, but it's kind of a nice little addition, especially if you're gonna be using this at Christmas time because it's that Christmassy cinnamony smell. I will say the popcorn bags at Dollar Tree do run a little bit on the small side, but that kind of works in our favor for this idea. We're gonna take three of these popcorn bags and we're gonna tuck them into our mason jar. I found these free printable movie night gift tags online. I'll try to find them and link them down below for you to go directly to the site to download them yourself if you want one, or you can kind of make your own up just punch a hole in the tag and tie that onto the top of the jar as well makes for a cute movie lover gift idea very very affordable quick and easy My grandma loved bird watching and I always remember going and filling up the bird feeders with my pawpaw. They always had them outside their picture window. And so this idea just reminds me of her. And I thought it'd be fun to put some bird seed in a mason jar, kind of decorate up the lid. You can also find these faux birds in the craft section at Dollar Tree sometimes. Just kind of hot glued one of those onto the top of the mason jar to dress it up. Quick and easy for those people that that love bird watching.
You can also use it for a little sewing kit and we got very creative here. This was a dog bed from Dollar Tree and I'm actually using it just for the stuffing inside. Instead of purchasing expensive stuffing from the craft store, we're gonna take some scrap fabric, cut it down a little bit, add some hot glue to the top of our mason jar lid. And then before we get all the way back to the beginning, we left a little hole. We're gonna tuck in some of that stuffing from our dog bed or our pet bed and then hot glue the rest of the edges down so all that stuffing stays inside. Add some hot glue to the top inside rim of your ring of your mason jar, push the fabric and the lid back up in there and then cut off any excess fabric from around the inside. Dollar Tree also carries little miniature sewing kits that you can purchase and then pop all of the elements into your mason jar. They also have some smaller miniature scissors that you can also throw in there too. So a quick and easy gift idea. Love these little mini scissors. They fit in there perfectly. And maybe this is a great thing to even keep in your car if you're needing a last minute um, button replacement or next to your sewing machine or just in your craft room if you don't do a ton of sewing. Then you just kind of have all of the basics handy and I love the little pen cushion on top. This is an awesome idea for kiddos. We're gonna head to Dollar Tree, grab some Play-Doh and also some of these little tools that come in a kit. And we're gonna take the Play-Doh out of its original packaging kind of work it and knead it until it's small enough and it'll fit down inside our mason jar at the bottom. Then we're gonna open up the little tool kit and we're gonna pull out some cause some of them just were too big to fit down inside of the jar. There's some cookie cutters and rollers and just all kinds of fun stuff. Really great price for something like this at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna put them down into the jar with the Play-Doh and tuck as many of those in as we can. So the kiddo has lots to play with. Then once it gets full, put the lid back on. And then we're also gonna tie a knot and some ribbon around on the edge to decorate it up. And also this little roller fit right onto the front of there too. Just tie that on as well. A really cute and easy gift idea. Dollar Tree has a ton of hair accessories. I have used so many of these for myself and for my daughter. Good stuff. They even have these cute miniature brushes. Perfect for the inside of a mason jar. So I grabbed some scrunchies and some hair ties and that little miniature brush. And we're gonna tuck those down into our mason jar. It just kind of becomes a little gift bag or gift container for us. But the cool thing about this idea is once you put the lid on, you can actually put the scrunchies around the top and your jar also becomes a really cool tabletop scrunchie holder for the recipient too. There's also a lot of really unique ways to use mason jars. You kind of think outside the box, or in this case, mason jars. Let's go ahead and check out those ideas. I love that Dollar Tree has all of these accessories for mason jars now. I showed you the frog and I showed you the one with the chain with the uh, stained glass. But I also wanna show you this one, it's pretty cool. It's a little flower cutout. We're gonna use it to create a room freshener or even a car freshener. That'd probably be a better idea, especially during the summertime. We're also gonna grab some of these wax melts from Dollar Tree, kind of break them up. We're gonna put a few of those into the jar. You can use a pint sized jar or even a smaller one would work for this idea. I didn't have any smaller ones. So we're gonna use the pint size here and we're gonna twist the lid onto the top here and now we have a room freshener. However, this works best in a hot or warm space. So in front of a fireplace would be great, in your car, in the cup holder. At, so when the sun heats it up, it melts and you get that scent kind of radiating, but a really easy idea, cute gift too. Along those same lines, grab yourself some potpourri from Dollar Tree. Same idea here, using it as a scented air freshener or room freshener. You just throw your potpourri into the mason jar. We're gonna use that same lid with a little flower daisy design cut out on the top. And you'll just put the top back on and then put it into a room, into a bathroom would be really great. And as the scent kind of dissipates, you just kind of shake your jar up and it kind of freshens it up, kind of moves stuff around in there and it'll emanate more scent that way too. 
And then I did show you the same jar hanging lid in our stained glass Sharpie project earlier. Here's another idea. We're going to take some Dollar Tree River Rocks and put those in the bottom of our mason jar. You can add a candle in there. Even a battery powered tea light from Dollar Tree would work for this too. And then you just twist your lid on there and then you can hang it wherever you want. I had this cute little hack that I did in a previous video using one of Dollar Tree's garden trim pieces and one of their hook sets. I'll link that video if you want to go watch and see how to make this little rustic farmhousey hanging section. But this uh, little lantern here is just the perfect addition to this little space. So a little bit different from the last one. This one actually has a metal hook on the top and a star shape cut out from the top of the lid. This will be cute too for a luminary, but we're gonna add this onto the mason jar and use it to help kind of hold up some faux florals inside there. So it just becomes kind of like a hanging vase and the star shape just kind of helps hold the, the stems in place since there's little points and there's a bigger space in the middle. So you don't necessarily see the star when you're done with it, but it's pretty and it's easy and you just tuck them in there, hang it up and you're good to go. So this idea is using faux florals, but since it is a mason jar, you could put water in here and put live flowers in there as well. And that would be super pretty as well. Back to these frogs. I love them because as I said, they come in a set of two. So you get op opportunity to do all kinds of different things with these. And this is another idea. We're just going to twist one onto the top of a mason jar and use it to organize and store all of our paintbrushes upright, which is perfect for a art space, a craft space, a kid's space. And you just throw those right down in there and then they are able to dry if they're wet or they're just easy to then grab when you're ready to do some painting. Mason jars are especially awesome for organization. I use them all the time in my crafting space for my crafting supplies like popsicle sticks, wood beads. It keeps everything contained. It's the perfect size. And it's also great to have these because then they're easily grabbable and at hand when you're needing them. I do not have a sink or even running water in my she shed, which is kind of a pain whenever you're talking about messy crafts, but mason jars have kind of solved that problem for me. I just have several jars of water that I keep in my crafting space that I use to mix things with and especially whenever it's time to clean off all of my paintbrushes. This is the perfect idea for a craft space, for a gardening shed, for a workshop even. We're gonna make a holder for our jute and twine so it doesn't go rolling all over the place. You just take a nail, you want a pretty good sized nail, even hammer it through a few times to make the hole big enough. And that's gonna make a hole in the lid for us. You can also use some needle nose pliers to make the hole a little bigger if you need to. You just wanna make sure you push your needle nose pliers from the bottom to the top. So any kind of rough edges and points are going up instead of down. That's gonna help hold our jute from falling back into the jar. This jute is from Dollar Tree. It's just a small bundle. It's actually the perfect size to fit down into a pint size mason jar. You just wanna pull out some of the string from the center of the ball so that it's started. Get that ball down into your mason jar, cut a little section off so you have a fresh start. Put that up into the hole of the lid that we just made and then put the ring on your mason jar and then you're easily able to pull the string out from your jar, snip it off the length that you need and then your ball of string isn't kind of rolling all over your work surface and you have string at hand whenever you need it. I have two different ideas using salt for these next projects. And the first one is one I had seen before and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. So I'm gonna test it out and sure enough it does. So I am passing it along to you. 
We're gonna take the sticker off the top that reveals the spout, take our mason jar lid, trace around it. We're gonna convert the salt from the packaging into the mason jar, just pour it out, dump it right in there, and then take a razor blade and we're gonna cut around the circle that we just drew on it, the same size as our mason jar lid. You might have to do a little bit of adjusting with a pair of scissors to clean it up, to get it all off of there. And the size we need because we want it to fit underneath the band for our mason jar. This is basically gonna become the new top of our mason jar. So we're just gonna stick that right on top there, put the band over and that's gonna hold it on. And now we have a, all of our salt into a mason jar, which is a little bit nicer than the container that it comes from. You can see it definitely works pretty cool. If you have open shelving or if you like to keep your ingredients out and handy, I definitely think the mason jar looks a little bit nicer and fancier than the Dollar Tree paper container it came in. We're gonna go on to the next idea, which is creating a salt shaker from our mason jar. And all you need to do for this one is have a nail and a hammer handy. We're basically going to flip the lid upside down so that way we can hammer holes from the bottom up to the top of the mason jar lid. You just wanna make sure that you have plenty of holes drilled or hammered into the lid because we're gonna take off the last pour spout here and we're gonna put the new lid on top and basically we just turned our mason jar into a simple and easy salt shaker. Now let's turn a mason jar into a soap pump. This is so cute for bathrooms and for kitchens. Again, you are gonna need another nail and hammer and a pair of pliers. We need to take our lid and hammer some more holes in it and make it the size of our soap pump that we're gonna be using for the top of this. So make sure to cut your hole in there and then we're gonna add our soap to our mason jar and we're gonna cut the soap pump down because it's a little bit too long. Make sure the hole is big enough for your soap pump to fit and you might have to take it off, adjust it like I did with the pliers. Not a big deal though. Once it fits, then you just put your band back on and then you can, I would, I think I use some glue here, but I would highly recommend using some silicone caulking for here. It will be a little bit more waterproof, a little bit more sturdy and it will last you longer, but this still works great too. And as you can see, not only does it make a great soap pump, but you can also use mason jars in the bathroom for storage for things like toothbrushes too. While we're making accessories for the bathroom, let's also make a cute holder for cotton balls or for Q-tips. This is just a wood knob that I'm hot gluing onto the top of a mason jar lid. And I thought it'd be cute also to paint this all white so that way it all kind of had more of a cohesive look and it would also match our bathroom a little bit better. So I'm doing that with some chalk paint. Chalk paint is great for using on things like metal and wood and plastic because it bonds to basically any surface and it's not gonna chip and it's great for areas of your home that see a lot of moisture like bathrooms. So here is what that looks like once it's done. Now let's make a tissue holder out of a mason jar. Grab your favorite tissues. Mine are from Dollar Tree. You don't need them all. Definitely grab less than half off of the stack. Save the rest for later. You're gonna flip up the first tissue in the middle and then roll up your stack. That way we can pull from the middle and continue to pull one out one at a time. And this is perfect for a bathroom as well. This next one is easy, peasy, and perfect for outside. Take a Dollar Tree solar light and pull the base off. You also need, of course, a mason jar and also some glass beads from Dollar Tree as well. Put one bag of those glass beads into your mason jar and then simply set the solar light right side up into your jar. And you have an instant little solar light, which also is gonna emit some color thanks to those colored glass beads we added into the jar. 
These also work inside if you put these in a windowsill and they will light up as the sun goes down. These would also be really pretty along a walkway outside. This is a really unique idea. We're gonna make a little holder for matches with the help of also creating a striker on the top of our mason jar. We're gonna do that with some sandpaper that you can also from find at Dollar Tree. We're gonna trace the lid, cut that out with a regular pair of scissors, and then we're gonna use that for the top of the jar. We're gonna take some matches that are also from Dollar Tree and empty them out into the mason jar. This is perfect because it's gonna keep our matches dry and away from any moisture and keep them safe inside. Then once we have that filled up, we can put our lid on, put the sandpaper on top and put the band around. And as you can see, you just use that sandpaper to help strike your matches and all the matches are saved inside. This is a great inexpensive way to create centerpieces for showers, for weddings, for events. You literally just take some water and pour it into your mason jar and then add a floating candle on top. I found some really, really inexpensively in bulk on Amazon and I'll link those down below. It's so quick and easy to just plop your candle down into the water, light your candle, and you have an instant, inexpensive luminary, one that you could create many of really quickly and also on the cheap. Mason jars also make the perfect little planters. So this idea is to create a little succulent garden using some river rocks that are also from Dollar Tree in the bottom of a mason jar. You could put live succulents in here as well, but Dollar Tree carries really great plastic succulents that you can also use that kind of still give you that real look without the maintenance. Now we're gonna make some coasters out of the lids of mason jars, and these are perfect for indoors or out. You also wanna grab a sheet of cork that you can also find a Dollar Tree. We're gonna open that up and trace the lid onto the backside of the cork. Two of those, we're gonna do two lids, but you make as many as you need depending on how many coasters that you're needing. Then we're gonna take some regular scissors and cut the circles out of the cork. Now we're going to assemble our coasters. We're gonna take some hot glue, add it to the inside edge of the band and insert the lid right side up on both of our coasters. Then the cork actually has an adhesive back, just like a sticker. So you're gonna peel the paper backing off and then insert that on top of your lid. And it really is just that quick and easy. And the sheets of cork from Dollar Tree are pretty good size. So I would say you could probably get at least nine circles cut out of those so you could potentially make nine coasters out of one sheet so a pretty good deal and these are also really useful too this has to be one of the prettiest diys but it's also quick and easy we're gonna grab some fairy lights from dollar tree put your batteries in there and then we're gonna take the wire it's actually all on wire so it kind of holds its shape and form you just kind of tuck your wire down into the mason jar. You want it going all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top and kind of back around again so we can get lights throughout the entire container. And that's all there is to it. You can see how pretty it is even in the daylight. And then you don't need the lid at all. We're just gonna flip this upside down and put it on a piece of wood and it just becomes a really pretty luminary. You tuck that battery pack behind it so you don't really see it, but it's easily accessible so you can get to the on and off switch.
Next, we're gonna make a lantern with the help of some Dollar Tree nautical rope. We're gonna remove the lid and the ring from our mason jar. We do not need that. But we do need this thicker rope from Dollar Tree. We're gonna make a handle first at the top, so kind of gauge about how long you want that and then cut it down to size. We're gonna take some hot glue and add some to each side of the jar so that our handle will stick. We also want to clean up this look and also help our handle to stay on a little bit better. So we're gonna take some hot glue, run it around the top edge of our mason jar and kind of wind it down the side as well. Once we get back to the beginning again, we can take our scissors and trim off the excess. I love this look. It is so simple and clean and chic. And another one that will be super quick and easy to make if you need to make several of these for a party or for decor. Next, let's make some buffalo check mason jars without using any tape. We're gonna give our mason jars a good base coat of white chalk paint. Let this dry really well. I like this paint because it's not gonna chip off your glass. It's gonna cure really nicely and give us a nice finish. Then we're gonna take some gray paint and do vertical stripes all the way around from top to bottom around your mason jar. We're gonna let that layer dry and then we're gonna come back in and do use the same paintbrush so we have the same size stripes going around horizontally around our mason jar. Then as you can see, there are cross sections between where the gray paint meets and basically it makes a square. We're gonna take some black chalk paint and we are going to fill in those squares with the black paint and that's gonna give us that checkerboard style look. I still really love the Buffalo Check farmhouse style look. This next idea is an enamel style farmhouse-y look and it's super easy to do. We've given this mason jar another base coat of white chalk paint and then we're coming in with a small paintbrush and black chalk paint to give it those chippy little marks throughout and all the way around our mason jar. We're also gonna take that black paint and we're gonna go around the top edge just like traditional enamel would have. You can leave it as is, or you can dress it up even further. This is a chalkboard from Dollar Tree. Just wrote the word home on there with a chalk marker. We're gonna use some jute to kind of trim it out at the top and then hang our little chalkboard with some hot glue onto the front. If you're still here, you made it through 50 mason jar ideas. Big claps for you. Leave me a red heart emoji down in the comments below so I see you're one of my devoted DIYers that held on to the end. Also, check the description box below to any products that I mentioned throughout this video. Also, click on that Fabric Life link for me that helps out my channel a lot. Thank you all so, so much for joining me to the end of this video today. Appreciate it so, so much. I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.